All right, well today we're gonna have a go at uh, replacing the, uh, the, the felt pad in this Gordon Lightfoot back here on Earth 8-track. It's in really gorgeous shape. I mean, no bubbling at all on the back um, and no bubbling at all on the front either. The only real problem with this cart is that it is missing some of this label here uh, on the spine, which is really unfortunate. Now, um, this is a classic five, uh, five pin design. So pin here, pin here, and then there's three more pins that are uh, that are underneath this label here. And uh, what I'm gonna try, we're gonna see if I succeed, I'm going to try only um, taking these two pins out and see if I can get the, the tape opened up far enough so that I can put a new, a new pressure pad in. Um, because I really don't wanna punch a hole through uh, the middle of Gordo here on the back. This is a pretty rare eight track. Um, his United Artists catalog, there were five albums released, four studio albums and a live album. This is the fourth studio album. Uh, they didn't sell particularly well here in the States on vinyl, and they sold evidently very poorly on 8-track because these are really hard to find. Um, I actually picked this up um, on eBay, which I don't usually do with 8-track cards. Um, I picked it up in a lot along with uh, this Summertime Dream cart, which has a missing pad here. but. That's not the uh, subject of today's video. We're gonna go for uh, back here on Earth today. And uh, I get these pads from Kate's Track Shack. I've had fantastic results from them. I think they're really nice. Um, and I think that they work really well. So uh, that's what I typically use. Okay, so um, as far as actually getting into this, there have been people um, in some of my videos who have commented that I need to make a, like a little clothespin device to get into these tapes. I've been meaning to do that, and uh, I just haven't gotten around to it yet, quite honestly. Um, so here we go. And, oh, well, this is actually going to be a pretty easy one. There's one. All I'm doing is just kind of prying these tabs back as best as I can. And a lot of times you can kind of sort of get them to a point where they start to come. You can see this side is clearly, it's it's good. This side, though, didn't really want to come all the way. A lot of times I'll stick my screwdriver in and just see if I can gently coax it apart. And you have to be careful when you do this because it's really easy to damage uh, the plastic in the cartridges. Um, thankfully, I did not damage anything here. And we are now open and into the cart. So we're gonna see how far we can separate this and hopefully not break anything. Oh, one other really important tip. Be very careful. You always wanna keep the bottom of the cartridge down as much as you can. Um, when you're first, you know, when you're first uh, getting these undone, it's okay to have the cartridge upside down because otherwise you can't really see what you're doing. But as soon as you can, you wanna get that cartridge. Even if it's like just slightly tilted, you want the bottom to be lower because otherwise all the tape can spin Bill out of the center of the reel and then uh, that's not going to be a, a good day for you. I'm going to just gently take this old pad out as best as I can. Okay, there comes the old pad. Tape's still all good. Ooh, there's a little bit of goo in there. I know I'm, I'm turning this upside down as I said not to do, but it's the only way I can really get to that little bit of goo. Okay. So now we've gotten that. I'm gonna take this tape and you wanna make sure your screwdriver is demagnetized. You don't wanna use a, a magnetic screwdriver for this task um, or you will end up erasing your tape. There we go, okay. We're good there for a moment. I'm gonna set this tape down. Grab a new pad. This is not ideal. Ideally, I would have just opened this tape all the way up, but like I said, I really don't want to destroy the label. So that's why I'm kind of doing it in this, I guess you could say haphazard fashion. All right, we're gonna try and slide this pad in. We'll see if we're successful. I'm not sure if we will be. I don't have a whole lot of confidence doing it this way, but I have done a couple of tapes this way in the past with good results. You just need to get that aligned properly. And it looks like we're in. All right, now we need to be careful. I don't want to bend this tape. 
that's always one of the tricky things. You don't you, you want to really be careful that you don't damage the tape um, when you're doing this. That's not good. Okay, I'm gonna make sure it goes around the pinch roller on this side, which admittedly can be a little tricky when your cart's only open this far. Okay, so we're now around the pinch roller. We're back in, back in, or as uh, the title of the album says, back here on Earth. Okay, we're all good there. I Now I just need to get, see how the tape needs to go behind this guy here. I'm gonna try and kind of use two fingers to just ease it in there. Oh, man, it came back out again. <laughs> Uh, that's the frustrating thing when you only have the cartridge halfway apart like this. It, it's really, it can be really tricky to get your tape all routed the way that you want. Another side's back off again. Okay. Open up a little further. Again, you just want to be careful that with these tapes that you don't put too much pressure on the pad, on the, uh, if you, if you open them like this, you just want to be careful that you don't put too much pressure on the, um, the little pegs that are, you know, that are kind of holding everything together. That's not good. Um, you don't want to break them off because then you have to put tape around the outside to hold your cartridge together. Or you have to glue it together, which I really do not recommend because that means that uh, it's going to be very difficult to open again in the future if, uh, and considering we're talking eight tracks, quite likely when that occasion should arise. Okay, we are so close. We are so close. Just need that to go underneath there. That go back down on there. And we've now got a new pad in here. And of course you can take your, your screwdriver and kind of adjust the way that the pad sits just by kind of moving it back and forth a little bit to make sure that it is actually centered on the tape but there you have it uh, there is a uh, a new pad put in here without having to poke holes through gordon lightfoot not all tapes can be repaired that way the vast majority of them can be though uh, with a little bit of patience and a little bit of perseverance so uh, yeah if you've got any uh, questions or comments about uh, this video you can stick them in the comments below and uh, as always thank you for watching mike's tech